all you cool cats and kittens. How are you doing? I am Susie from Start A Mom Blog and I help you build and create a beautiful blog that you're proud of that can bring in a side income or even your full-time income. All right, so one of the ways that you can do that is through affiliate marketing. So we're gonna tackle that today. I'm gonna tell you what affiliate marketing is, very high level. Um, I'm gonna show you what programs are really good for affiliate marketing, how much you can make with affiliate marketing, what are trending topics right now, and then what is an alternative to affiliate marketing that's even better. All right, so the reason why I wanna create this video is because there's recently in the news that Amazon, one of the biggest affiliate programs for bloggers that a lot of people promote, has cut their commissions. So that's gut-wrenching, it's really kind of hard to read that news um, because a lot of bloggers do promote Amazon. But I wanna have you like, don't freak out, there are other ways to monetize your blog through than just through the Amazon affiliate program. So even if they do cut their rates, there's other ways um, and other programs that give you better rates and better commissions. And then in the end, there's like, the best thing that you should do, but we'll get into that. All right, so first thing, what is affiliate marketing? All right, so affiliate marketing is when you sign up to be an affiliate for a program, and it's free to become an affiliate for most programs. They want you to promote their product or service, and when you do, you get a special URL or individual link that's tied just to you. So if somebody goes through your special link that you promote, say for example, um, Instacart. Instacart actually has an affiliate program. If somebody goes through your affiliate link to sign up for Instacart and get grocery deliveries, you actually get a cut of what they pay. So you get a commission. And depending on what program and company you promote, they have different terms and commissions. Some can go as high as, I mean, 200 three, four hundred dollars per affiliate sale, and some can be as low as a couple dollars per sale. And also some programs are reoccurring, so every month you can get a little bit of commission depending on how the program is set up. So there's really great opportunities with affiliate marketing. It doesn't cost you anything. All you need is some type of traffic source to a blog so that you can get people to your website and they can click on your affiliate links and then make a purchase and you get a commission. All right, now you might be wondering, okay, so I kind of understand what affiliate marketing is. How much money can I actually make through affiliate marketing? Guys, there are some bloggers that make um, thousands of dollars per month just purely through affiliate marketing. Some bloggers don't focus on their own products, they don't focus on ads on their website, they just focus on affiliate marketing, which it is easy in the sense that you don't have to own the product, you don't have to manage the inventory or the customer service. All you do is just promote and market it and the whole sales funnel, everything else is taken care of by the affiliate company. So it is kind of nice in that sense other sense, you also don't have any ownership of it. So if something happens like a cut from commissions that Amazon just did, then you don't have any control over that. So it's good to diversify, but affiliate marketing is great because there are some bloggers that make up to say $50,000 per month through affiliate marketing. Of course, not everybody's going to hit that, but let me show you a little bit of what I've done. Not even, these aren't even my biggest affiliates that I promote, but I wanted to show you even through small affiliates that I have, um, in February, February and like early part of March, I made 15,000 on an affiliate that I promoted, um, did a big YouTube video, did a blog post, shared it with my email list. So again, I have that audience. So if you have an audience that loves and trusts you, you promote something that's helpful to them and it was in their budget and price range, then the affiliate um, kickback is awesome. Other ones that I really like to promote is PicMonkey and Tailwind. They're both great softwares and tools that I promote to my readers. So you can see commissions to date are huge on these two. So that's just a small example of little programs that I've promoted as an affiliate and have had great payouts. These aren't even my biggest ones. Um, so affiliate networks that I've used, Share a Sale, they actually have PicMonkey and Tailwind on them. They also have a whole bunch of other ones. So Share a Sale, CJ Affiliate, and Impact Radius, they're all affiliate networks. So it's not just you're signing up to one program's affiliate program, you're signing up to this network and you can apply to be an affiliate for any type of program or product that's on there. So sh let me show you this. If I look at share a sale so i've logged into my share a sale account and i can go to merchants and you can search for different merchants that you want to promote and let's see here 
So currently, look at all these different categories. So they have 900 different um, merchants in clothing, 697 in accessories. Guys, there are thousands of different um, programs that you can sign up for just on this one share sale affiliate network. And I'm going to show you which categories are actually trending so you know which ones to sign up for. Um, Impact Radius, again, you guys can see really awesome um, payouts here, but that's where you can promote something like Instacart. And as you guys might know, that's really trending right now. Instacart is very popular. I use it almost daily. Um, so as you can go through Impact Radius, there's different merchants that you can sign up to to be an affiliate for them. So that makes it easier. Also, CJ Affiliate is a really big affiliate network that you can sign up for as well and get um, applied to different merchants that's on there and get different commissions. All right, they're a very popular one as well. All right, so now, as I promised you, what should I actually promote? Like, you wanna promote something that people are actually taking action on right now and they're buying and they're clicking through. So I found these two amazing articles, guys, and I think, like, this is just pure gold. First one is actually a consumer trends report on CJ Affiliate where they're going through and telling you top categories year over year and how they've growth, grown and changed. And you can see here the, the dates are March through April. Kind of like the whole world is changing right now. So what's trending? So things that trended in January are definitely different than things that are trending now as things have changed. All right, so we can go through beauty, a lot of people are more clicking into beauty, but not taking that many actions, although it is 40% higher from last year. Okay. So I, if I'm an affiliate, I want to look at both clicks and actions, but I'm definitely going to look at actions more because that's what I want, right? I want people to take action because that's when they take an action. I get an affiliate commission kickback. All right. Education guys, look at that growth and education on online affiliate programs that you can promote that have an educational aspect to it. Um, one of these, I think it was CJ Affiliate that actually has ABC Mouse. All right, so in CJ Affiliate, you can sign up for ABC Mouse, adventureacademy.com, readingiq.com. These are things that are trending right now. Um, education, right? We're all homeschooling, crisis schooling. So again, if we go back to this, you can see education's going up. Live events for entertainment, Obviously, we can't all meet up right now. That's declining. So through this list, sports and fitness is um, picking up. Travel is not. All right. So this is an awesome little article that shows you kind of what's trending. And there's more to it here. Another article that I want to sh show you is this one. It's from visualcapitalist.com. And this is really cool because it actually goes into like the nitty gritty of fastest, fastest growing category. Sorry guys, can't talk today. I'm not like in the rhythm of this. Um, fastest growing category. So you can see here, obviously disposable gloves, very popular, bread machines. Guys, if you have a cooking blog or a food blog, you probably have seen that your bread recipes are picking up, okay? So see if there's a company that sells bread machines or anything regarding bread making. Maybe they're shipping faster than Amazon right now. Maybe you can go directly to them and sell their product and sign up for their affiliate program. So that's really awesome. Cold and cough, soups is picking up, dried grains and rice, packaged foods, fruit cups, weight training. All my fitness bloggers, guys, weight training is picking up. Um, dishwashing, dish washing supplies, which reminds me we are out of dishwashing liquid. So I need to order that again, like I said, off Instacart. So it goes through a hundred entries of what is actually um, trending up, what the change from March, 2019 to the change of 2020 now. Flowers up, facial tissues, allergy medicine. That's really funny because um, you might, <laughs> might think that you're sick, but you actually just have allergies. My allergies have picked up, so yes. Um, allergy medicine, power generators, laundry supplies, household cleaners, Jerky and dried meats, that's awesome. That's really cool. My brother actually has a um, somewhat beef jerky company. It's not American beef jerky, it's South African beef jerky. So if you're interested, there will be a link below to his company. Sells awesome, delicious biltong. Um, health monitors, cool. People trying to get healthier. Dog food, toilet accessories, baking mixers. Okay, again, refrigerators, interesting. Fitness equipment, yep. I mean, people are stuck at home, so 
you can maybe some people live in apartments maybe they don't have an access to a big park or a running trail so they're going to work out at home so definitely looking for fitness equipment so you can see here everything that's trending up from last year march to this year march okay pretty cool so i'll leave a link to this article below too and then just as helpful, the fastest declining category. So if you are currently promoting any of these products, maybe you should switch your focus a little bit and promote things that are increasing and trending. So men's swimwear, men's formal wear, women's swimwear, guys, we're not swimming. Nobody's gonna have a summer body this year. Just forget about it. We're just gonna have comfortable, I'm eating popcorn every night bodies. <laughs> Speaking to myself, um, gym bags, we're not going to the gym, so we don't need gym bags, right? Just all at home. That's a cool thing to realize. Um, everybody's swimwear is down. Baseball, any kind of sporting equipment. We're not playing sports. Guys, I hope this doesn't last too long. So take this with a grain of salt. These things that are trending downwards hopefully won't trend downwards forever, but the things that are trending up, I would definitely focus on that. Okay. So I love this article as well. Kind of shows you in detail what is trending up and what is trending down. All right, so I'll definitely leave the links to both of those below. Now, lastly, what is better than affiliate marketing, guys? What is better? Guys, your own product is better than affiliate marketing. If you have your own course, if you have your own ebook, your own printable store, it is better than affiliate marketing because it is your own product and you can build a funnel to it. You can change the prices. You can run sales. You can do bundles. You are in complete control if you have your own product. Um, many of you guys, if you've followed me for a while, you guys know that I have tons of programs and courses and eBooks and printables because I know that diversifying even my product portfolio helps me become a stronger blogger and secure my my monthly income to support my family. So I do have a course called course by number kind of makes sense, right? Um, right now there's a coupon code for 20% off that you can use until the end of the month. This is what my students have done with course by number. Jody's made 5,000 per month. Varpu has made, she had 50 students enroll in her course in the first day. Um, Laura made 12,000 with her first launch. Gia made $7,000 with a small list. Hannah made over $2,000 in a day and Liesl made $17,000 in a month with a pregnancy course, guys. So this is very possible if you have your own product, it gives you the most control on your income for your blog. If you're not ready to create a course yet, if that is just like, oh, Susie, that is just too much. I don't have time right now. I'm crisis schooling. I'm taking care of my family. I just can't even think about creating a course right now. That's okay can always move up to that. So what I would focus on right now, if you want to start a little smaller is enroll in something like list by number or printables by number. Both of those will help you, um, grow your email list so that you build this engaged audience of people that really love you and you stay, um, engaged with them and you email them and you build that connection because right now we're all lonely at home. So if you are not emailing your list, you have to, you have to build those relationships because people are wanting to hear from you because I'm like, everybody's just like hungry for human interaction, or maybe that's just me. Cause I'm like talking to the people in the drive through lines, like they're my best friends anyway. So list by number and printables by number in printables by number, you'll learn how to create printables and worksheets and, um, PDFs that you can either use to grow your email list or sell on your blog. And these printables and so on can be sold for $3, $7, $10, something small kind of builds up your confidence in selling. And then you can slowly move on as you build your small portfolio and then eventually get into something like course by number and launch a course. Anyway, guys, I hope this is really helpful. Kind of gives you an overview of what is affiliate marketing, other good programs to sign up for, for affiliate marketing, what's trending right now and what you should be promoting. And then what's a great alternative to affiliate marketing. Again, if you have any questions, I'm Susie from start a mom blog, all the links to everything I mentioned is below. Um, sorry, my lighting is kind of off. I look, a little ghost like, but you guys, you know, it's fine. Um, we're all in quarantine, so let's just make the best of it. And I hope this helps you leave a comment, like this video, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks.